Good afternoon, students. So, welcome to the is a high court prelims test number 55 uh, GS discussion. So, I'll be dealing with the science portion over here. So, starting with uh, question number uh, 20. So, which component of light causes suppression of melatonin produced by the pineal gland? So, pineal gland it secretes uh, melatonin. So, melatonin is a sleep hormone. It's called the sleep hormone. So, this melatonin is responsible for creating sleep in any living body. So, it doesn't uh, suppress your red, green or indigo. It is only the blue light that suspends, that suppresses the melatonin produced by the pineal gland. So, an answer to this question is option uh, B, that is uh, blue. As uh, we can see that uh, blue light will have the least uh, frequency. It has the least frequency but uh, wavelength uh, is sorry it has the, the least wavelength and frequency is very high so this creates certain kind of vibrations in the pineal gland so that suppresses the melatonin hormone so answer to this question is option b then uh, quite factual question moving to next is question number 21 so question number 21 we have uh, casimir's funk or casimir funk was a polish biochemist uh, generally credited uh, by the first formulation of the concept of which of the following so casimir funk and casimir funk together they're known as the funk brothers so funk brothers they formulated uh, the vitamins part so we have the amino acids dna rna no deoxyribonucleic acid and uh, this is deoxyribonucleic acid so they are double stranded helix they are nothing but proteins amino acids are need, needed for the breakdown purposes we have vitamins over here so punk brothers formulated vitamin answer to this question is option d vitamins and uh, minerals are uh, needed by the body in least quantity needed by the body very less quantity vitamin c is water soluble in nature it is water soluble in nature then I have question number 22 here, which among the following are the building blocks of uh, human body? So the, when we talk about the building blocks of the human body, so proteins are the building blocks of the human body we have here. Proteins help in growth and development of muscles. And muscles, neurons, cells, these are the part of any body. But proteins, they help as they work as the building blocks. They repair the worn out tissues. Point chances option B, bombing. Next moving to is uh, question number 26. So we have which of the following metals are commonly used as inert electrodes. Let us understand now what is this inert electrodes is all about. Okay. Now inert electrodes. are non-reactive in nature non-reactive in nature inert they are insensitive to atmosphere fine so we need actually inert, uh, electrodes because if we have electrodes that are reactive in nature then they may give rise to the formation of some product so which is undesirable so we need inert electrodes so which of the following metals are commonly uh, used in inert electrodes platinum yes it is an it is a very less reactive if you follow the reactivity series you will find they are at the bottom most so platinum is a possible answer we have carbon over here yes it is another inert electrode mercury yes so since we have a b c so option d is the right answer 
to this uh, question. So it is uh, option D will be the answer to question number 26. Then moving to the next question is question number 27. Which of the following is correct about a uh, sound wave? It is a mechanical wave. Yes, it is correct. An electromagnetic. No, no, it is not an electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves are light waves, heat waves, alpha, beta, gamma, all those waves. Now, these electromagnetic waves, they do not need any medium. They propagate in vacuum. Both mechanical and no, neither mechanical no, it is so. Answer is only option A. Then moving to question 28, which of the following mediums will sound uh, will sound travel with greater speed at uh, zero degree Celsius? So it is option A that is uh, aluminium will travel at a greater speed even at zero degree Celsius. So sound travel faster in uh, solid. Then we have liquid. Then we have gas. Okay, but if you have alloys, then uh, say if I have metals, I mean to say it's uh, pure metals, and then I have alloys, so they travel faster in alloys than we have metals. Okay, but this is you need not have to go through much detail, so this is what is required for your examination. So let it be at zero degrees Celsius, so this is the only solid given over here. So it is aluminium. Here the order is aluminium. Then we have water and then we have hydrogen. Okay. Question number uh, 29. What is the effect of temperature, uh, increase of temperature on the speed of sound? Yes, the effect of temperature on the speed of sound is that it will increase. All right. So we have the speed of sound as C can be given as square root of gamma RT, where gamma into R is a constant term. So I can say C is directly proportional to square root of T. So this gives me a relation that with increase in T, the C will also Increase. So answer is option B. Moving to the next uh, question, question number 30. Which compound of mercury is uh, used as antiseptic? Yes, which compound of mercury is used as antiseptic? It is mercury chloride. Okay, fine. It is mercury chloride with GCL. So we have mercury chloride as an antiseptic. So removes bacteria and prevents infects infection. Prevents infection. Hope it is clear. So quite factual in nature. Mercuric sulfide, mercuric oxide, mercuric iodide. No such significant use. Okay. So then uh, let us move to the next part. Question number 31. Which among the following metal is highest electrical conductivity as well as highest thermal conductivity? Highest uh, electrical as well as highest uh, thermal. Okay, so it is silver. Okay. It has the highest electrical as well as highest thermal. Mica, good conduct, good conductor of electricity. Not a good conductor. Sorry. Extremely sorry. Good conductor of heat. Not a good conductor of electricity. Now question number 32. Calamine is an ore of which among the following? Calamine is an ore of zinc. It's known as a calamine, ore of zinc. Alright, so answer is option, option A. Moving to next is question number 33. Rayon is an example of rayon is semi-synthetic fiber. So answer is option C.
sodium alkali sulfate and benzene sulfate are examples of they are actually examples of synthetic detergents sodium alkali sulfate and benzene sulfate explosives now we have dynamite under explosives okay fungicides and insecticides no so answer is option d What happens to the frequency question number 52? What happens to the frequency of the pendulum if it is suspended from a ceiling of the lift moving upward with constant acceleration? Its frequency will decrease. Sorry. It may increase or also decrease just a minute. It may increase, decrease or increase. Now see. What is going to happen is that the frequency of a pendulum is asked. So, time period of a pendulum it is 2 pi square root of L by G. Frequency is inversely proportional to time period. Okay, fine. So, if the lift is moving in upward direction, so we have a lift here all right now this is the ceiling where we have a pendulum tied up so time period is the time taken by the pendulum to complete one oscillation this is the extreme and say a this point is v mean position this point is c acceleration is in upward direction so what is happening here it tension is acting over here okay so we have the weight acting in downward direction so t minus mg is m into a i have tension as uh, m into g plus a so apparent weight i can see it is uh, increasing but with respect to the time period what is happening now if tension is nothing but depends on this length okay so this may increase or it may decrease that depends on the length of this effective length of the string that is L. So answer is option C. Question number uh, 58. Lipoproteins which are large molecules and which transport the cholesterol in the bloodstream are Yes, lipoproteins are actually protein and uh, fat molecules so answer is option c nothing much to explain here the question of 59 we have in which of the following conditions a person is born with both ovarian and testicular tissues that is uh, both male and female organs yes which of the following uh, conditions has been asked so the condition is called hermaphroditism hermaphroditism in which uh, with both ovarian and testicular tissues so that's a kind of uh, disorder so 59 has answer as option d question 60 which among the following is correct about saliva of a healthy human so saliva of a, saliva of a healthy human is slightly alkaline in nature answer is option c Sixty-one. Which among the following is true attribute to polar bear? So, it is uh, herbivore, omnivore, carnivore, or marsupial. It is actually your uh, carnivore. Answer is option C. Yes, attribute of polar bear. It is carnivore in nature. So, if somebody ever asks you whether you want to go to North Pole or South Pole, prefer South Pole. Because there are penguins. 
which with which of the following animals galton swissel is most commonly associated is galton swissel is most commonly associated with dogs so this is uh, option b Question number 72, which allotrope of carbon is in rigid three-dimensional structure? That is diamond is in three-dimensional structure as tall in R and 2D. We have Buckminster Fuller and this is C60 carbon. Okay, so answer is option C. Question number 71, which one uh, among the following metals is used in fireworks to make a brilliant uh, white light? make brilliant white light we go for uh, magnesium answer is option b again okay, 73 is which for which diode is used for which is diode is used diode is used for modulation amplifier this is for amplifier oscillation oscillator purification filter paper okay so it is modulation answer is option a fine so that's it from my side stay tuned the uh, some other faculty will be back in a short while to continue the rest one. thank you
so good evening dears and uh, we are going to start the discussion that is uh, most probably science part is discussed by your uh, science teacher now i am going to take the humanity portion okay and we will start from very first question that is the very first question is the very first question is sorry the very first question is consider the following statement regarding the journal council okay they are asking about the journal council journal council is constitutional body created by uh, promote the cooperation among the state this is correct that that is being uh, created to promote the cooperation among the state but this is not the uh, constitutional what is the meaning of constitutional body constitutional body means that means the body which is being discussed in the constitution being mentioned in the constitution okay and the journal council is not constitutional because it is not being mentioned in the constitution so that first statement is wrong because it is not constitutional because it is not mentioned in the constitution uh, so this is first statement is wrong okay it is being created by the state reorganization act 1956 and there are five journal council northern journal council which has the headquarter in new delhi okay north south that has the headquarter in chennai okay south east that has the headquarter in uh, kolkata very near to you and uh, uh, north south east west that is maharashtra and uh, other is northeast uh, other is northeast okay which has the headquarter in asha okay so these are the uh, sorry 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 not northeast rather central 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 uh, journal council which has the headquarter in kanpur uh, sorry uh, prayagraj earlier known to be allahabad allahabad now in prayagraj okay i am going to repeat once again that the constitutional bodies are those body which are being mentioned in the constitution okay so that journal council is not the constitutional body because it is being created by the uh, reorganization act 1956 okay and in india there are five journal council okay one is north journal council which is uh, has the headquarter in new delhi new delhi other is uh, uh, north south south journal council which has the headquarter in chennai other is uh, east journal council which has the headquarter in kolkata other is western uh, journal council which has the headquarter in maharashtra other is uh, east west uh, that is central central and this has the headquarter in prayagraj or uh, allahabad whatever it may be earlier it was known as allahabad now it is prayagraj they means uh, they changed the name <laughs> okay <laughs> so now it is prayagraj so right answer is first is wrong statement <laughs> second is prime minister is the chairman of all journal council okay this is also wrong prime minister is not chairman its decision its decision is not binding so all are wrong so none is the answer okay first right answer is d okay first right answer is d we are going to discuss the second question that is the team india wing of niti ayog comprise of represented that is uh, for the collaboration collaboration between the center and the state and it contains the representative from every state or the central ministry every state representative from every state and the uh, central ministries okay representative from the central ministry and it is uh, instrumental for the coordination okay so the right answer is going to be b okay second right answer is b now we are going to discuss that another question that is third question and that third question is that third question is that third question is that uh, 
consider the following power of judicial review has been taken from american uh, american constitution this is right match dpsp dpsp the point uh, the uh, dpsp is taken from the it is constitution uh, not the canadian constitution idea of residual power is taken from the canadian constitution not the british constitution so only one is correct all the two and three are wrong okay not correctly matched so the right answer is going to be a only okay so that means three right answer is a because power of judicial review has been taken from the american constitution the um, the philosophy of dpsp directive principle of state policy dpsp directive principle of state policy the philosophy of directive principle of state policy has been taken from has been taken from uh, that is uh, uh, it is constitution it is constitution it is constitution okay and the idea of judicial uh, residuary power that is taken from canada okay that means the india believe in the federal structure federal structure means separation of power separation of power okay separation of power and this separation of power there is separation of power between the central and the state and for that thing there is uh, the seventh schedule is mentioned in the seventh schedule there are three list one is the union list other is the uh, state list other is the concurrent list and which any subject which is not mentioned in either of the list that is going to be residuary power okay and that is lies with the center and this concept is taken from canada okay so the right answer is going to be a because all two and three are wrongly matched okay so the right answer is a only okay now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the fourth question that fourth question is which of the following is not constitutional body first is national commission for backward classes this is a constitutional state uh, meaning constitutional body which is being mentioned in the constitution state public service commission this is also con central vigilance commission this is not constitutional national human rights commission this is also not constitutional so only uh, one and two is constitutional three and four are statutory body statutory means by the act of parliament okay so the right answer is going to be one and two and which is mentioned under uh, select the correct answer using the code given below okay so the right answer is going to be one and two okay so which of the following is not not okay we have to mention that not okay so not is the question so a one on two is the constitutional and three and four is not constitutional so the right answer is going to be three and four that is c okay right answer is going to be c four right answer is c okay right answer is c now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question and that next question is talking about under the constitution of india to protect monuments, place, objects, and artistic or holistic interest, which of the declared to be the national importance is the directive principle of state policy, that is DPSP, DPSP, which is mentioned in the article uh, 49 or 50, article 49, okay, 49, okay, so the right answer is going to be DPSP, DPSP, okay. So that is mentioned in the directive principle of state policy. Next question we are going to discuss that is sixth one. Okay, sixth one. Which of the following is or are the feature of Nagara uh, Nagara temple architecture? Okay, there was a, that uh, uh, <coughs> two type of structure. One was known as Dravida, other is known as Nagara. Okay, Dravida and Nagara. Okay, the entire temple under the Nagara temple, uh, the entire temple built on the stone. This is right. This is a characteristic entry to the temple or lead to the, no no no. This is the characteristic of Dravida style. Okay, which is found in the South India. Okay, Garbhagriha is always located directly under the tallest tower. Okay, this is also right about the Nagara architecture. So one and three is right and two is not wrong. So the right answer is going to be. Uh, C. Okay. Sixth right answer is going to be C. Sixth right answer is going to be C. So first A, uh, one and three is right. Okay. And two is wrong. So the right answer is going to be C. Right answer is going to be C. Now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question and that next question is talking about that uh, a home was the kingdom in northeastern okay consider the following statement and they are talking about a home was the kingdom in the northeastern region of india packs were the pupil so first is the right uh, right statement first statement is right statement a home was the kingdom in the northeastern region of india packs were the pupil who rendered military service in exchange of money this is wrong packs were the pupils who were uh, talking about the unity 
uh, in the uh, that uh, Odia people. Okay, on the name of uh, Lord Jagannath, Lord Jagannath. Okay, and they have the that um, rebellion against the Britishers. Rebellion against the Britishers. So second statement is wrong. First statement is right. So the, the option is going to be A only. Seven. Right answer is A. Okay, one only. One only. Okay, so the right answer is A. Now we are going to discuss the next question that that is eighth one. Consider the following statement regarding the individual satyagraha. They are talking about the individual satyagraha. The objective of launching the individual uh, launching the individual satyagraha was to seek the uh, India's independence. This was not uh, the, uh, uh, correct because individual satyagraha they were not uh, uh, that means satisfied with the um, that uh, Crips machine. Crips mission, okay. Uh, so they were uh, the Congress was not in uh, that means uh, was not uh, able to that how to respond that uh, provisions of that particular cabinet mission, <coughs> okay. And in that respect, they do not want to embarrass the um, uh, Britishers, so they do not want to have the mass uh, scale rebellion against the uh, Britishers, okay. So that's why they launched the individual subject, okay. So that means uh, that was uh, wrong that uh, the sole objective was to have the India's independence. This is wrong, so this is not going to be it. Was in uh, Russian, this is also wrong because in Russian they, they were inspired by the uh, that. Uh, uh, milit uh, milit militancy, okay, militancy. That was a uh, militancy. Russian uh, nihilism believed in the militancy, so the Satyagraha is not about the militancy. It was about the non-violence, okay, non-violence, okay. So the second is also wrong. Third is Gandhi ji forbade women to carry out uh, carry out this from the Satyagraha. That is also wrong, okay. That is not like that. Okay, so the right answer is going to be none. Okay, so the eighth right answer is D. Eighth right answer is D. None is correct. Okay, now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the ninth question. And that ninth question is which of the following measures or measures were, bars or were adopted to the Congress ministries to elevate the sufferings of peasants? Okay, that is setting up of the Indian Peasants Institute for the Peasants Welfare. This is wrong that was not done by the congress okay so congress ministry constitution of t prakash prakashan committee to reduce the land revenue system that was right okay that uh, congress ministries that they came into, into power into 1937 according to india act 1935 okay in the, according to india act 1935 election was conducted in the states uh, and uh, the, in 1937 uh, in nine states okay and the congress formed the government and uh, uh, that is uh, talking about that congress ministry okay so when they came into power they uh, um, make the tea precaution committee for uh, reviewing the condition of the farmers so second is correct third is introduction of bengal barga is temporary this is also wrong so the right answer is going to be two only two only which is b okay ninth right answer is two only so that is b right answer correct is b Ninth correct answer is B. Now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question. That is 10th question. We are going to discuss the 10th question. That is primary objective of a Kali movement in 1920. 1920 that means religious movement when a religious uh, reform movement. Religious reform movement started in India and uh, that, that started in uh, each and every religion in India. Be it case of Hinduism, be it case of uh, Islam or be it case of Sikhism. Okay, so that means the Akali movement that started that was liberal to the Sikh world Dwara from the control of corrupt minds. Okay, that was the objective of the Akali movement in 1920. So the right answer is going to be 10th right answer is going to be A. Okay, 10th right answer is A. Okay, that because the objective of Akali, Akali movement was Akali movement was to liberal the Sikh Gurdwaras to uh, from the control of corrupt minds. Okay, so the right answer is A. And that was nothing but the religious reform movement in the uh, Sikh case. Okay, now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question that is 11th one. Which one, which of the following initiative was taken by the Gandhiji during his stay in Africa? Okay, that means before um, uh, the before India, Gandhi took part in the Indian freedom struggle. Before that, he was staying in Dakshin uh, Africa and he returned back in India in 1911. Okay, and before that only he did the experiment with their that uh, that tools uh, tools in Af 
uh, south africa only so that means uh, he is asking that what he has done in uh, south africa okay and we are going to discuss those things okay so the very first is the campaigning on against the restriction on indian migration this is right he did like that okay campaigning against the poll tax and the invalidation of indian marriage act this is also right setting up of the he set up uh, the the natal indian congress there in south africa so this is also right so one or two three all is correct okay he did all these activities in south africa so the right answer is d only okay so 11 right answer is d only now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the 12th question 12th question that is the trade policy adopted by india in its uh, first seven uh, years plans were uh, marked by okay let me discuss it the trade policies question is the trade policy adopted by india in uh, its first seven five year plan okay that means first seven five year uh, first seven five year first seven five year plans were known as uh, that uh, uh, socialist in pattern socialist in pattern socialist in pattern okay that means there was regulated entry of the uh, private sector okay so that means that is known as inward looking trade policy inward looking trade policy inward looking trade policy okay that uh, we were not focusing on um, export and import we were uh, want to be self sufficient okay so that means restriction and for that thing there was restriction on import of foreign goods that is right promotion of domestic production of goods this is also right and for that uh, self sufficiency they want to be more and more domestic production whether it happen or not that is altogether difference but that uh, was the policy of import uh, looking trade policy that means uh, with, uh, in that first seven five year plan the policy of india was inward inward trade policy inward looking trade policy inward looking trade policy okay that means we were not focusing on export and import okay and outward looking trade policy that is very wrong so the right answer is going to be one and two which is mentioned under option d so 12th right answer is going to be d okay 12th right answer is going to be d okay now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question and that next question is 13th one okay consider the following statements statements with reference to the performance of indian agriculture between 1991 to 200, 2000 after the economic reform okay that means we took measures for the economic reform in 1991 that is known as lpg in the form of lpg liberalization privatization and globalization and they are asking that after the adoption of uh, lpg reform okay what uh, what the performance of indian agriculture has achieved okay that means they have given the statement about the indian agriculture performance and we have to identify whether they are right or wrong okay it registered a higher growth rate compared to the preceding decades okay that is wrong okay that means the lpg this was about the industrialization so that means it has not affected that much uh, to the industrial uh, that means uh, agriculture sector that it has affected the industrial sector okay so that is wrong statement that means uh, there was not higher growth as uh, growth rate compared to preceding rather growth rate in agriculture is stagnant that is not increasing okay that is the biggest issue okay it experience a steady increase in the this is also also contribution to the gdp whether the contribution of uh, agriculture sector to the gdp over the year has decreased not increased okay so the second is also wrong statement so the right answer is going to be neither one nor two okay neither one is correct nor two is correct so the right answer is going to be 13 right answer is going to be d only right answer is going to be d only now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question and that is 14th one okay we are going to discuss the 14th one okay that is consider the following when the trade relation are going to be then what is going to be <coughs> that in case uh, that uh, is going to be affected okay because either it is going to be in surplus or going to be in a, that means it is going to depend upon the value of uh, value of exchange rate value of exchange rate so second is also correct so this is a statement is it is dependent not independent is dependent it is dependent okay it is dependent 
dependent okay so the both is correct a and c okay 14 right answer is both c 14 right answer is c 14 right answer is c now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question that the decrease in the money supply in the economy could be control the food inflation as the increase in the price caused by the okay that is known as structural okay that food inflation inflation can be because of the two factors that is demand inflation or supply okay demand pull inflation or supply shock l y supply shock s h o c k shock or cost push cost push inflation okay demand pull means because of increase in demand because of increase in demand demand is going to increase means purchasing power is increasing pupils have the money in their hand and they are going to make the more demand so the prices are going to increase that is known as demand pull cost push or supply shock that the cost of production cost of production has increased cost of production has increased because of that the supplier is not able to meet the demand demand is constant demand is not increasing demand is constant but cost of production has increased cost of production has increased because of that what is going to be earlier in the 100 rupees suppose example take the example in that 100 rupees the producer has 100 rupees in the 100 rupees earlier the producer was able to, there was 10 rupees per uh, cost okay so 10 units the uh, producer was able to now suppose the cost of uh, production has increased from 10 to 20 okay so that means uh, uh, that means in the 100 rupees the producer is only able to uh, the produce 5 units okay demand is 10 units and uh, only 5 units can be supplied demand is constant demand is not increasing the supply is decreasing 15 right answer is 15 right answer is going to be c now we are going to discuss the 16th question that is the consider the following state infrastructure regarding the financial market infrastructure it is used for the purpose of the clear, clearing set settling or the recording payments securities derivatives or other financial real time those settlement system is designed for the fma in okay yeah uh, both are correct so the right answer is going to be c okay right answer is going to be c both are correct about the financial market infrastructure financial market infrastructure both statement is correct so the right answer is going to be c okay now we are going to discuss the next question that is 17th one in the construct context of microeconomics okay sterilization refers to okay when the uh, inflation is going to take place okay because inflation is going to take place because of the increase in forex foreign exchange forex increase in forex when the forex is going to increase because of that the inflation is going to take place inflation means money supply increase in money supply money supply is going to increase because of the increase in forex okay whenever the foreign currency is going to increase that much amount of money has to be spent by the rbi and that is going to be the part of the part of the money supply and because of that uh, when the forex is going to increase the rbi has to print the money and that is going to lead the increase in money supply okay and that may be the inflation that may lead that is going to lead the inflation okay when the rbi is going to suck out the extra liquidity because of the increase in forex that is known as uh, market stabilization scheme that is known as market stabilization scheme okay and that is introduced in 2004 okay that is introduced in 2004 and that is known as the market stabilization scheme and when the rbi is going to take the action going to suck out the extra liquidity from the from the from the market extra liquidity from the market or from the economy okay because of the increase in forex okay so the market stabilization scheme that is known as sterilization that is known as sterilization okay so operation by the rbi okay okay uh, neutralize the effect of high high fiscal deficit not demonetization operation by rbi to neutralize the uh, effect of high fiscal deficit on the economy operationalize neutralize effect of excess flow of foreign, foreign investment in the economy foreign investment because of increase in foreign investment okay forex is going to increase okay because of increase in forex money supply is going to increase okay so that means operation by the rbi to neutralize the effect of excess inflow of a foreign investment in the economy because it is going to increase when the dollar is going to increase the money supply in the economy is going to increase okay so the right answer is going to be uh, 
that is going to be C. Okay, 17th right answer is C. 17th right answer is C. Now we are going to proceed for next question. We are going to discuss the 37th question that is uh, Thoth Bazaar. Okay, Cox Bazaar. Cox Bazaar. Okay, because of that only they were it was in news. Okay, and it uh, lack the basic facility also. This island uh, lack the basic facility. So the right answer is Bangladesh. Okay, 39 right answer is Bangladesh. 39 right answer is Bangladesh. We are going to 39 right answer is Bangladesh only. So 39 right answer is C. Now we are going to 40. Okay. Uh, which among the following Gulf is noted for the extreme rise and uh, that is Gulf of Khambat and Gulf of Kutch. Okay. Uh, Gulf noted for the extreme rise and fall in its tide making it an ideal location for tidal energy. Okay. That is Gulf of Khambat and Gulf of Kutch. Okay. Both. So that means right answer is going to be D. Okay. 40. Right answer is D. Okay. Gulf of Khambat and Gulf of Kutch both is known as extreme fall and extreme rise of the water. Okay, and that is uh, uh, tides that is known as tides. Okay, and uh, this is uh, makes uh, ideal location for the tidal energy for the cultivation of tidal energy. So the right answer is going to be D. Now we are going to discuss the 41 that in which of the following states of India there is no petrochemical or petro, uh, petroleum chemicals or petrochemical investment region. Okay, that is Assam. Okay, right answer is Assam. Okay, so 41 we are going to discuss the 42nd question. That is Ballar Padam terminal, which is a container shipment facility launched in February 2011, is the only trans shipment port in India. It is part of uh, that is part of Cochin, uh, okay, so part of Cochin port, okay, Cochin port. So 42, right answer is C, okay, 42, right answer is C only, okay. Now our next question we are going to discuss 43. Okay, at which among the following place Asia's first, that is Kandla, okay, Asia's first EPZ export processing zone was set up in 1965, that was Kandla, okay, now EPZ has been converted into SEZ, special economic zone, okay, so that Kandla was the first EPZ in India, okay, so that was in uh, Gujarat, Kandla, okay, right answer is C, 43, right answer is C, 43, right answer is C, now, Next is Pipa Bao in Gujarat is best known for India's first ship breaking yard. Okay, it is Pipa Bao is the India's first ship breaking yard in Gujarat. Okay, so that is right answer is C. 44 right answer is C. 44 right answer is C. Now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question that is the 45th. 45th which among the following is Riverine Port that is Kolkata Port. Kolkata port is the only riverine port in India. Okay, Kolkata port is the only riverine port in India. Okay, so that means it is inland river port. Okay, Kolkata port is the only riverine port. So the right answer is going to be 40 C, right, 45 right answer is C. Okay, now we are going to discuss the next question that is uh, Gagan Naran. Okay, Somdev Dev Barban is not matched uh, correctly because Somdev Dev Barban belongs to tennis. Okay, he uh, played tennis, not the badminton. So the this is A is wrong. Okay, now, Gagan Naran shooting, right? Arjun Atwal golf, this is also right. Antia Sud is swimming, related to uh, swimming. Okay, so Somdev Dev Barban is not correctly matched. Okay, so mismatch. Okay, because Suman Dev, Dev Barman play tennis so the, uh, the right answer is going to be 46 right answer is going to be a 46 right answer is going to be a now next question we are going to discuss the next question that is 47th question that analytical engine was invented by charles baggage okay analytical engine was uh, invented by charles baggage so 47 right answer is going to be a okay 47 right answer is going to be a now next question is 48th question that is who is the author of the book the dhoni touch unraveling the en gima that is mahin singh dhoni that is the Bharat Sudarshan. Okay, Bharat Sudarshan is the writer of this book. So the right answer is going to be 48. Right answer is D. Okay, Bharat Sudarshan is the uh, writer of the, the Dhuni touch. The Dhuni touch. Okay, Bharat Sudarshan. So right answer is going to be D. Now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question that is Barkhana waterfall. This is located on Sitha river. Sitha river of Karnataka. 
ओके कर्नाटक इन शिमोगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके एंड इट इज दन ऑफ द टेंथ हाइएस्ट फॉल इन इंडिया ओके टेंथ वन ऑफ द टेन हाइएस्ट फॉल इन इंडिया ओके दैट्स बर्थाना वन सो दैट मीन्स शिमोगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ कर्नाटका ओके ऑन सीथा रिवर ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी बी ओके सो फोर्टी नाइन राइट आंसर इज बी फोर्टी नाइन राइट आंसर इज बी दैट मीन्स इट बिलोंग्स टू लोकेटेड इन कर्नाटका ओके हु रिसीव टू थाउजेंड एटीन ओके टू थाउजेंड एटीन व्यास सम्मान इज रिसीव बाई लीलाधर जोगी लीलाधर जोगी फॉर इज बुक जितने लोग उतने प्रेम द बुक वॉज द लिटरली बर्क वॉज जितने लोग जितने लोग उतने प्रेम जितने लोग उतने प्रेम उतने प्रेम दैट वॉज द नेम ऑफ द बुक ऑफ लीला जोगी एंड फॉर दैट लिटरली वर्क ही गॉट द व्यास सम्मान ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन ओके एंड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन व्यास सम्मान इज नसीरा नसीरा शर्मा फॉर द कागज की नाम फॉर द बुक कागज की नाम कागज की नाम टू नसीरा शर्मा 2018 लीला दत्त जोगी ओके फॉर इज वर्क जितने लोग उतने प्रे ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी बी 50 राइट आंसर इज बी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द 51 ओके 51 दैट इज व्हिच ऑफ दिस इज नॉट नॉट एन एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट मींस मस्ट बी डिस्कस्ड बाय योर साइंस टीचर नॉट पीरियोडिक मोशन सो मस्ट बी डिस्कस्ड बाय साइंस टीचर ओके 52 बिलोंग्स टू साइंस ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट दैट इज 53 इज आल्सो साइंस पार्ट ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द 54 ओके दैट इज ह्यूमैनिटीज ज्योग्राफी ओके व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग रिवर इज नॉन एज द यारलोंग सांको इंटरवेट दैट इज ब्रह्मपुत्रा ओके ब्रह्मपुत्रा रिवर इज नॉन एज यार लंग सांको इन टिबेट ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी 54 राइट आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी डी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन that is 55th question okay 50 chenab river is also known as chandravaga form which uh, the merging of chandra and bhaga river near which of the following laul and spiti okay chandra and bhaga meets at laul and spiti and mix the chandravaga and that is also known as chenab river okay chenab river okay so the right answer is going to be b okay at laul and spiti that is the place okay in a machal pradesh and uh, where chandra and uh, bhaga river meets and makes the chandravaga river okay and that is also known as chenab river okay so the right answer 55 right answer is b now we are going to discuss the next question that is 56th question that is in which of the following state of india there is no petroleum chemicals or petrochemical investment region that is assam okay 56 right answer is assam okay that in assam there is no petroleum chemicals or petrochemical investment region so right answer is 56 right answer is a only right answer is a only now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question and that next question is uh, 57 again okay that pipin bab is the gujarat is best known for we already did that india's first ship breaking yard okay lipoprotein uh, which of the following large molecule uh, transport the cholesterol okay protein and fat okay mostly we discussed by your science teacher but right answer is c uh, now next uh, is 59 which of the following is uh, that science portion okay 60 is also science portion now we are going to discuss the next question that is 61 okay 61 which among the following is a uh, Uh, that is a uh, um, attribute of polar bear that is carnivore okay they are carnivore must be discussed by your te science teacher but 61 right answer is c okay 61 right answer is c okay uh, with which of the following animal uh, that must be discussed by your uh, science teacher okay pointing device uses light must be discussed by your science teacher 64 is a discuss uh, science uh, questions okay so that means uh, 65 is Uh, the computer most uh, be discussed by your science teacher but i am also going to discuss that uh, the device which is not connected to cpu is known as which of the following 65 which of the following that is uh, offline device okay which is not connected with cpu is known as offline device okay so the right answer 65 right answer is c 66 that what is the new name of firosa kotla okay arun jetli arun jetli stadium okay delhi cricket stadium that is known as prosa kotla the prosa kotla uh, ground is uh, renamed on the uh, former finance minister of india that is arun jetli stadium that is known as arun jetli stadium so 66 right answer is a now 67 
67 who's known as the governor of mizoram that uh, governor of mizoram is ps sri dharan pillai okay ps sri dharan pillai is appointed as the governor of mizoram so the right answer is 67 right answer is a which railway station became the first uh, to be a virtually challenge friend friendly station that uh, station is uh, 68 uh, right answer is uh, that is the mysore mysore station uh, mysore uh, that is the railway station okay so mysore railway station has become the first to become the visually challenged friendly station okay mysore mysore so the uh, 68 right answer is a only now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the 69 uh that is which year is used as the base year for tariff reduction and regional comprehensive economic partnership okay that is uh, which uh, that is 2014 2014 is used as the base year for the for the uh, re tariff reduction and uh, by the regional co comprehensive economic partnership okay so 2014 is being used as the Uh, base year okay who awarded the 2019 udyog we already discussed that is uh, who awarded okay that is uh, name of the institution they are asking the name of the institution and name of the institution is institute of economic studies institute of economic studies and uh, we have discussed earlier okay 71 uh, next question is 71 which are uh, one among the following metal is used for the firework to make the brilliant white light okay uh, must be discussed by your science teacher but i am also going to be that is the sodium sodium uh, not sodium but magnesium okay that is magnesium magnesium is used okay which allotropy of the karma with it three dimensional structure that is um, diamond 72 right answer is diamond that is c okay now we are going to proceed further and we are going to discuss the next question okay we are going to discuss the next question that is uh that is 73 74 and 75 okay 73 which uh, uh, for which diode is used must be uh, discussed by your science teacher who among the following wrote the classical panch tantra okay vishnu uh, sharma okay so right answer is for the 74 right answer is c okay 74 uh, panch tantra is written by vishnu sharma okay 75 that is which of the following word were you added in the preamble by the 42 uh, that is that is socialist okay socialist <coughs> okay so the right answer is going to be uh, right answer is going to be uh, socialist and secular okay socialist and secular word was uh, inserted by the constitution by the act so the right answer is going to be b and c okay so that is c okay option is c so 50 uh, 75 right answer is c only okay and we finish here only today we finish our discussion here only okay that completes our discussion i will meet you once uh, the things are going to be okay next discussion is going to take place then i will uh, meet you people again thank you very much dias okay thanks a lot ha huh.